Hi, I'm Greg Plitt. Thanks for downloading my metrics chest training video. There's no way you're ever having a well-rounded physique if you don't have good chest development. Now I'm going to take you through a few of my favorite chest exercises. But remember, when working your chest, form and breathing are very important. So you want to be aware of them throughout your workout. The first chest exercise we're going to do is a superset. Dumbbell flat press, dumbbell flat fly. The press is going to work the thickness of the chest, where the fly is going to work the width of the chest. Looks like this. Grab two dumbbells, you're going to lay flat on the back. Breathe in on the way down, exhale, the way up. I like to rotate the grip as I go. This is a dumbbell flat press. Builds the thickness of your chest. So a dumbbell flat fly, you can pretend like you're hugging a big tree right here. The angle of your elbow from your upper arm to your lower arm remains constant throughout the range of motion. It's going to build the thickness and the width of your chest. What you don't want to do is curl the weight in and press it. You're taking away from the targeted muscle group of the width of your chest here. Really stay true to form here. Identical to the flat series we just did with flat dumbbell press and flat dumbbell fly. Now we're going to do an incline press and an incline fly using the dumbbells. It's the same exact thing as a, as a flat chest, but instead of working the middle of the chest, we're going to work the upper area of the chest. we got a 30 degree incline on the bench, and the same principles apply. So, for the incline dumbbell press, breathe down the way in, inhale on the way down. This goes the thickness of your chest. You can turn the dumbbells as you move throughout the range of motion, if desired, it's your call. Incline dumbbell fly to work the width of your chest. Again, the angle formed from your forearm and upper arm should remain constant throughout the range of motion like you're hugging a tree. That's going to give you the most benefit of this exercise. It's going to build the width of your chest. Incline dumbbell fly, incline dumbbell press here builds the thickness. Great exercise for your upper chest. Give him a shot. The third chest exercise we're going to do works the lower chest, utilizing the dip machine. You never want to lock your elbows out, so always keep them a little bit flexed. You keep your elbows in tight, and you're going to come down to where your upper arm is parallel to the ground, 90 degrees. You never want to go too far deep. Come up, back down, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. The slower you go, the more you get out of it, the less momentum is being used, too. Works the lower chest. A great exercise. A great way to end your chest workout is the old fashioned push up. When doing a push up, if you're going to work the inside of your chest, the closer your hands are, will accomplish that. As you start moving your hands out wider, you're working the outside of your chest. I just start off real close. They're called triangle push ups, they're harder. But then we work inside of your chest and a lot of your triceps. As you start hitting failure, you're going to start pushing your hands out, working more of like the middle of the chest, it's right here. And towards the end, you're going to work the widest part of your chest, which is the strongest. That's why you save it for the very last. But using your 
using your body weight, doing high reps, maybe three or four sets, it's going to help really build that striation. Get a good chest in there. The old fashioned push up. Always a winner when finishing up your chest workout. But if you find after your chest workout you can't do a push up, don't worry about it. That means you had a hard chest workout and you deserve to get home and go to sleep. That was an overview of my chest training routine. If you do these exercises once a week, you should make gains in both your strength and your appearance. So stick with it and you will be rewarded. I'm Greg Plitt for Metrics. Thanks for watching. For more workouts, updates, and nutritional information, keep logging on to metrics.com.